Let's check in with Ron Futrell now. Uh, Giants and Braves in action. Tonight. Another round for these two yeah. teams tonight. It's been going on for a while. Yes, it has. The <laughs> sleeping Giants, though, may have gotten the wake up call just in time. Giants and Braves tonight in Fulton County Stadium. Braves had taken four straight games against the Giants, but the no namers come through in this game for San Francisco. Seventh inning, two to one Braves. Dave Martinez loops one to right field. That ties the game. Yeah, they go on to the ninth inning. John Patterson just off the disabled list. First at bat of the season. He gives Chris Berman a sore throat. <laughs> Solo home run to right field. The first home run of his career. Of his career. Giants win 3 to 2. They now lead the West by four and a half games. Game three of this series tomorrow night. Elsewhere, Phillies over the Cubs and the Cards beat the Reds. Uh, Phillies still lead the East by a ton of games right now. Astros and Doug Drabeck win over the Mets. The Padres have been scoring a lot of runs lately. They pound Florida. Montreal beats up on Colorado. And for the second night in a row, Pirates over the Dodgers. American League now. White Sox and the Yanks battling in the Bronx. Sox going for their fifth straight win. Key hit here in the game. A seen eye single to right field. That scores a couple of runs. White Sox win 5-3. to three. Jack McDowell gets his 21st win of the season. Other scores for you. The Royals lose. Uh, they lose some ground in the West. They lose to Milwaukee tonight. Texas 9-7 over Boston in 12 innings. Blue Jays take a two and a half game lead in the East with their victory tonight. Seattle 9, Detroit 3. Kim Griffey Jr., his 40th home run of the season. Angels are thinking about next season. Baltimore beat them again tonight. You've got Cleveland 12, Minnesota 7, and a real pitcher's duel there. Well, what do you know? UNLV unveiled its new basketball offices today. The new shrine deserves nothing less than the first class Robin Leach treatment. Here's our version of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Hello, I'm Robin Leach, and this is every basketball coach's dream come true. A ref, you are ever lucky enough to lay sight on such luxury, beveled glass with the rebel inscription, encased in large, double-wide, luxurious oak doors. Once inside the shrine, all the smell of leather is everywhere. And of couches also to seat a small army. A large bank of multiple television monitors that allows the coaching staff the ultimate in viewing pleasure. The entire enclave encased in a wall of fine cherry wood furniture. The only thing missing, champagne wishes and caviar dreams. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll admit it takes uh, a lot to keep a straight face, face after this, but I cannot let the night go by without some comments on this, what we are calling the shrine that has been built to Rolly Massimino. Jim Bola and Jim Weaver over there. University officials defend their extravagance by saying the money, $350,000, was donated by Cy Red, which it was. Any money donated, though, to a public institution like UNLV becomes public money when it is donated. The university could have used that money for anything it wanted to, but it chose to build the shrine. Jim Weaver has a similar office. His includes a private shower. Now, you wonder, what have Weaver and Rowley done in the short time they've been here to deserve the treatment reserved for royalty. Is this Rowley's reward for losing in the first round of the NIT? Massimino contends that his new office is going to help recruiting. Well, come on, Larry Johnson, Stacey Ogman, and Greg Anthony were pretty good players. They had no problem with the old modest offices of the past. Besides, how many players do you know that choose a school based on the beautiful offices of its head coach? Now, UNLV Athletics is setting, really, when you think about it, they're setting a dangerous precedent here. With these new offices, should the public expect anything less than a national championship? or two or three, the old offices produced one championship and three Final Fours in five seasons. <laughs> they have put the pressure on themselves with this one. Now, also, I, I want to know what happened to the great move of academics over athletics. How many professors at UNLV have an office that is one-tenth, one-tenth the expense of this office? I thought UNLV was pushing academics over athletics over there. In a time when the university has begged for money from the state legislature, they're raising tuition for students and pleading for help from the public, they can build offices that would make Donald Trump jealous? Wouldn't this money be better served if it went towards, say, the student athletes, something like that? Like for scholarships, perhaps? Really, when, when you think about it, and we laugh about it, joke about it a little bit here, but when you think about it, it's repulsive and sick need for a state-run institution to act like this. If they had a conscience, they would be embarrassed over this, but instead they flaunt it. Figure that one out, huh? Today at Angel Park Golf Course, the golfing marathon is underway. Golfers trying to break the world record for consecutive holes played. Whew, the old record is more than 1,400 holes. It should take the guys about 12 days of playing golf around the clock to set this record. And we will keep you posted on their quest. They are going at it as we speak. Around the clock. I, I, literally 24 hours a day or is it 18 hours a day? No, they're going. Well, with the, one guy is going to sit out. So okay, three guys will be playing at all, all times. times. You get six hours of rest. All right. So therefore, and, and there are four of them playing. 
That's right. Yeah, well, th uh, four of them total playing, but three will be playing at, at time. all times. So that's about what one uh, one night of sleep or sleep every 24 hours, I guess. Yeah. that's yeah. a lot of and golf. Also, what it averages out about six co uh, six holes, not holes, but rather six rounds of golf a day. That's Jeez. a lot of golf. All right, Ron. Thanks a lot. Well, Michael Jackson looked healthy today when he performed in Singapore. Gone with the migraines and nausea, and we'll be back with that.